Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the incredible, incredible card trick you saw yesterday. Um, it is a bit of a setup deck and this is the setup. You've got all of the black cards and you've got all of the red cards. So you've got 26 black, 26 red. And to separate the cards, I've got my favorite Jack of Spades crimped so that I can crimp and I know this is all the black cards, this is all the red cards. Um, Spectator has got a free choice. It would be unfortunate if they took this jack of spades, but I'm pretty sure that's a one in 52 chance. That ain't gonna happen. So Spectator's got a free choice, like I said to Blakey. They could have the top card if they want, and they could have the bottom card if they want. It makes no difference. But let's just say, for instance, they take this card. Now, when they take a card out, you've got to gauge that this is the top of the deck and this is the bottom of the deck. So you want them to take a card somewhere near the top and somewhere near the bottom, just so that you know it's either a red card or a black card. If you go to somewhere in the center, you could be a little bit stuck. I suppose you could always, wherever your crimp card is, you could put a little pencil dot in the top corner so you know when you've gone past halfway. So let's say, for instance, the spectator takes this card. You know, you don't see it. You know this is a black card. In fact, I'm going to show you how the trick works. Spectator's going to take a card. Now, I'm going to show you this card. I'm going to turn away. But I do know this is a black card. So I'm going to put this black card somewhere below halfway so I know it's going into the red portion of the deck. So black into red, if it was a red, it goes into the black. You'll then cut at your crimp and shuffle the black cards into the red cards, but you do need to make sure that the furrow shuffle, it doesn't need to be perfect at the start, but it does need to be perfect where you know roughly that card is. Now I've already not quite got a perfect furrow. I mean, if you don't get a perfect furrow, the chances are you're gonna miss your card. I mean, the chances are it won't make any difference, but just to be safe. So now you've shuffled the cards, you can show the cards to all be shuffled. Now what's gonna happen is when I look through the deck, there will be three black cards together now. So I'm gonna go through the deck and I'm gonna look for where three black cards are together. There are three black cards. So I'm assuming the card I showed you was the six of spades. That's how it works. There will be three of the same color and it will be the card in the middle. Like if it had been a red card, there would have been three red cards together and it would be the red card in the middle. Cause as you can see, there are no three red cards. Let's run through and make sure that does work because I just sort of thought this up today. I mean, this, I'm not saying this is an original idea at all, but I've not seen it and I just thought of it today. And it's worked every time I've done it, so I'm hoping as long as you do a half decent furrow. Like I say, it doesn't matter if it's not quite perfect, but there is a chance if you don't do a perfect furrow throughout the middle, where you sort of messed it up a little bit might be where your card ends up. So let's say they take this card this time, the King of Diamonds. You're gonna take the Red King and put it somewhere in the black portion. You'll then cut the deck at your crimp and give these, God, is that? Oh, that should have been on the other side. That card should have been there. So, have I done that wrong? No, the red, the, the red card. Oh, yeah, I've cocked it up a little bit. I want to make sure this is right. Oh, I'm doing it again, look. God. So, your crimp will go on the bottom of the black pile, which will be on the top of the deck. So let me just make sure that's all sorted. No red cards lurking. There's the red king. Right, spectator can take this card. The queen of diamonds is gonna go somewhere in the black portion. You'll cut at your crimp. You will then give the cards a shuffle, making sure it's a pretty good furrow. Now we're looking for three red cards together and it should be the queen in the middle. So we'll go through and find three red cards. There are three red cards, look. And the queen, this chosen card, is the middle card, so it does work. 
So that's how I did it guys. It was just a quick setup with a deck, a decent furrow shuffle and that's it. So comment, subscribe, like and come back tomorrow for possibly a special announcement. I'm not sure. Cheers. Come back for something though, yeah?